Wildstar. Wildstar. This, this is the Wildstar Wild Weekly Livestream, and you're here with myself, Deirdre Didi Hollis, aka CRB Sunshine. I am your community manager and co host for today. To my left is senior game designer Morgan Brown. Hello. Downtown Morgan Brown. And to my right is the illustrious, most awesome, creative director of us all, Pappy Moore. I forgot the Chad part, but who cares? Great to be here. Hey everyone, <laughs> how's it going today? Oh, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do, Morgan, for those new people who are joining us who haven't seen you on the stream. All right, so for the new people, I am a senior game designer, which basically at this point means that uh, me and a fellow designers are working on events for you to play, uh, focusing on various different avenues of content in our game, different themes. Just a different way to get people involved who have different tastes in gameplay since Wildstar has so many tastes. And, uh, gameplays? So it is tasteful. Gameplays. It and is very, very gameplay. Yeah. It is very tasteful. So <laughs> making sure everybody gets, uh, you know, uh, gets an opportunity to try new content that maybe they hadn't considered before, or if they are really into something, then just doubling down and uh, binging, content binging. Yeah. And then, um, Chad, yeah. uh, we'll get back to you later. Okay. Anyway, so <laughs> any, what, let's talk. No. Oh, for, so, yes. <laughs> uh, for the people who uh, were watching the last live stream that, that was on, uh, remember uh, we were talking about briefly downtown Morgan Brown from downtown yes. Julie Brown? Yes. Right after that, downtown Julie Brown retweeted a tweet that I had with a fan where I was talking about this. So she totally became your BFF. I, I'm so sorry to the fan who. I don't remember your Twitter handle, but it was great. So. But that doesn't matter because now you're BFFs with downtown Julie Brown. So, we can get her on the show now, it's right? Because right. yep, you have contacts. Yep. Yeah, there you're you like, go. you're one removed. That's right. It's like a That's Kevin a Bacon moment, right. but like but one. But it's a Morgan Brown moment. It's yeah, Morgan, Morgan Brown. Brown. Right. Six degrees to <laughs> seven right. degrees, whatever. Usually it's just five with Morgan. That's I'm going like to stop trying, right. so I'm just five. degrees. <laughs> five, wow, that means he knows everybody. Right. At least once. Well, I know Chad. That's all that That's matters. Yeah, and yeah, we yeah. need to know Chad, too. That's Chad, right, right. introduce yourselves to the new people who are, might be joining us. So for I'm Chad Moore. I'm the creative director of Wildstar. No, you're not. No, you're not. Yeah, okay. that's me. Uh, that just means that I get to do all the fun stuff. Uh, not that what Morgan does isn't fun, but I basically get to create uh, the world of Wildstar, the characters, the stories. Um, you know, all of uh, the awesome lore that gets written for our game you collect. My uh, narrative team does that as well. So, uh, and, you know, just to be completely honest with everyone, I am Wildstar's number one fan. No doubt about it. Okay. Ah, uh, I don't know. We might. <laughs> That sounds, coming like up, a, that sounds like a challenge. It yeah, coming challenge, up in the yeah. show, there might be our number one fan. Right. Um, and I'm going to get to that as yeah. I talk about the topics that we're going to talk about on today's show. Um, so we are going to have a community spotlight. Uh, Venus Rising has a winter fest that they're hosting. And from Venus Rising is Niliana from the forums. She's one of uh, uh, our probably most active players, most active on the forums. Uh, very, very into Wildstar, um, helps uh, multiple community members uh, make up these wonderful in-game events for the rest of you. She's and, into um, Draken. Oh, yeah, you know she I mean? loves Draken, and that's fan, fine. Which that's, makes we're me cool a big that. fan of hers. Super and, awesome. Yeah. And we're going to get her on the show. Uh, we also have a couple of really cool, interesting things that happened over the week. The Patacular Spectacular, there's an article up about it. Go ahead and read through all of the wonderful things that you can uh, get. We also have a multi-use item um, option for uh, one of our mounts and some of our pets. Um, so that's super extra awesome fun. We also have something near and dear to Chad's heart and something that we've all kind of been working to push and that's a uh, notable personalities. If you didn't see last week's, definitely catch this week because we're gonna talk about Mondo Zax and also uh, uh, Deadeye Brightland yep. today. Exciting. So it's super exciting because Deadeye is actually <laughs> one of my favorite characters. Um, along the way, um, we're going to do a giveaway and we're gonna do a giveaway at the end of the stream. So I was told to go ahead and we would kind of like just make up a word right now. And so um, we're going to be giving away one Orbitron, and uh, that is amount. And we're going to be giving away one Rexling pet. So I had this idea that maybe we should call it a Rexatron. That's the that's, that's the word the you're saying. That's the key word. Okay, well you're gonna have to how tell people spell how that? to spell that. So you're gonna okay. spell that R E X I. T R O N. Rex Itron. Rex Itron. And I'm writing it down right here. Okay. You cheated. You cheated? Hell yeah. That doesn't mean you get into the drawing. I'm sorry, just because you wrote it on a piece of paper. 
Well, so anyway, um, all of you throughout the show, we're going to give you little prompts to go ahead and put Rexatron in the chat channel. So that way, Maggie um, can go ahead and uh, pull up the winning winners for the Rexling Pet and also for the Orbitron. What about the losing winners? The losing winners right. get to uh, listen to us. Okay. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> suckers. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay. So why don't we uh, go ahead and move along, and we're going to introduce Niliana. Niliana, are you here? Let's see. There she hey. is. Hi. Hey. Good evening. <laughs> we really, really, really thank you because it's not just evening where you're at. It's quite honestly midnight. Yes. Um, Niliana is based in the UK, and so she is. Uh, she's found it in her heart of hearts to go ahead and uh, get on the show with us, and we really thank you for, for coming and joining us today so that we can discuss um, all that is Venus Rising's Winterfest um, competition, which you have all over the forum. So why don't you give us a, a little overview? Um, well, it's open for everyone, Java and, Domin or Java and Entity One, uh, Dominion and Exile. Um, it goes on from the 19th to the 10th of January, so that everybody has a chance to get their houses done. Registration ends on the 27th. It's gonna be lots of fun. I've got my cat sleeping back there with the swag. <laughs> <laughs> really excited about this. I couldn't pass up this opportunity. Well, we're super excited too, and we're very, very thankful that you're, you're putting this together. Um, you do have cohorts in crime, so if you wanna give them a shout out, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, I've got um, Carrot from EU ex Exile, uh, Mayor Dasmus, and Sarind from uh, Entity, and they've all volunteered to help out with my crazy manic creative phases. So that's yeah. super excellent. Um, why don't you tell us about the competition specifically? What is it? Um, you did already tell us like where it is. Um, how do we get there? And also, uh, further on, we're going to go ahead and show off the kind of venue that you've had created for this special event. Um, and tell us, you can tell us who created the venue and whatnot. Um, who can get involved? How do they get involved? Uh, what will help you? Um, and then again, um, all of the things. Who do you want to judge? How do you want to get some judges? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it, it takes place on the forums. You register there. Um, we have a Google Doc sheet that lists everybody that I'll show publicly later. Um, right now, it's not open for registration, um, but we are hoping to have lots and lots of uh, people coming to join up with us. We have four judges, but we, we will welcome more um, if, they have, if they volunteer. Um, we want a public sky plot to judge. That means we can't be on your ignore list. We, we obviously want it winter themed, like uh, Puppy Licious is jumping around in there now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> creativity. It's a great plot. Oh, thank you. It's not, ha it's not half finished yet, though. Um, we want creativity. Like, can you make something out of a normal decor piece and wow us? Like, I've made stairs out of Dominion bookshelves before, and I thought that was really cool. Um, we also, the biggest part of it is a protostar tribute. If you go inside the big Osen house, uh, you'll see that we've got a, a protostar tribute going on. We've got, um, I'm not sure if I'm still on because my Skype's paused. Anyways, I'll keep going on. Um, we also want uniqueness. And I think my Skype's cut off on me. Oh, no, I hear something. Still. I'm still on. I can kind of hear stuff, so I'll continue on. Um, <laughs> well, actually, Nilly, yeah, so you guys have been doing this co these competitions for a while. Uh, oh, oh. Oh. You know, we're looking at this plot. Everything is very elaborate and very detailed. Uh, what would, what is, what's some advice that you would give to some people who are uh, intrigued by the idea of participating but are you know, just getting into housing in Wildstar? Do you have some advice, some things to avoid? Yeah, I think we lost her. Yeah, we are depending on the, the services of you know, 
other kinds of communication. <laughs> I almost called it out because I make mistakes right. like that. I'd still so, like to know those answers. Though. Yeah, we somebody, will. Yeah. And when we get uh, when we get Niliana back on, one of the things that intrigued me about this is um, the items that are used to create this. Now, mind you, this is all on live. This isn't anything that's on PTR, and so um, you can't get a lot of uh, what we have coming in Winterfest out. It's not out yet. So a lot of this is created by just the items that you currently have access to. So that Christmas tree, you know, is different different parts of, you know, pre-existing items in the game yep. and it's really awesome. Yeah, I mean, let's just let me just be completely honest, like just running around this house and seeing like all the awesome creative ways that they've used our existing decor pieces to make to make this is just totally inspiring. It really right? is. It's pretty awesome. And when you go downstairs there's like uh, there's different vendors too. That's another thing is open up the uh, the orange gate there. Yeah. And it's like getting in and like make your Christmas wish right there. <laughs> you know, get, sit right. on plushy yeah, who, Santa's lap. Who is that? It's That's something. It's pretty good <laughs> representation. It, it yeah, is. It's Santa really Claus good. Yeah. Yep. Star, I think. It's Santa Claus. Like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Anyway. I didn't awesome. even get that. Really good though. Well, there's a plushy vendor. There's what is that? A, it looks like a Christmas tree vendor or a yeah. seasonal holiday. Yeah, kind of like a poinsettia greenhouse. Yeah. yeah. And then you've got an orange or a Mordish guard here who's making yep. sure you don't have any fun. Right? Like, <laughs> uh, Can't go through the windows, sorry, Pappy. It's not working. Just or you not feel allowed. guilty about having fun. You can have it. But. Oh, here we go. It's a it's a sure. plushy store. Yep. Uh, here's a giggle me gaffer right here. That was, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean, right? <laughs> There's a giant giggle me gaffer. That's yeah, excellent. It's good. <laughs> oh, dude, this guy doesn't look. He, Lowell, he does not want like, you getting, and like, you can't steal anything, apparently, because this guy will kick your booty. That's like Papa Phineas's uh, personal bad uncle. That's you know like I mean? yeah. a really, really bad elf. Ooh, look at Eleven. this. Do you know what that is? Pituitary gland problem. Do you know what that is? Oh, I know what that is. Do you? I do. That is a very <laughs> uh, important piece of lore. I call it lore decor, actually. Right? Lore if, decor. If you have actually finished the Black Focus episode in uh, Grim Vault, or no, uh, the Defile, sorry, you get this special piece of decor, which is actually the Black Focus compressed into a very small little piece of, uh, oh. of uh, black eggs and night. It's mm -hmm. pretty awesome. So Phenom fin finished. Phenom that yeah. Phenom yeah, Flux. Phenom Flux yeah. finished. Yes. Uh, this is great. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. All right. It's crazy to think of the barren flat housing plot. Absolutely. Area yeah. Yeah. Converted so radically. And to be like like for me the biggest impressive part of this is this Osen house is yeah. massive right like mm -hmm. it is huge and and uh they have filled up every single uh corner of it with cool little oh here we go here's a little uh lop uh cella celebration person someone's doing some welding over here you know this is the craziest party i've ever it seen really in is. my life it right? really yeah. is and it's going to be the, like even crazier as uh as we move along with this um event um which we really thank these community members for doing, you know. It's really, uh, it takes yes. a lot. It, I like that guy. Oh. Dude, look at this. We got some little, like, dioramas. So, um, you know, this is like, They're like Wild mannequins. Stars, Indiana you Jones. Pick your, and, uh, pick your armor. Yeah, man. Choose your own armor right I'm, there. I'm feeling it. I'm mm. feeling this. <laughs> <You> feeling <laughs> look at this. We got some model spaceships here, <laughs> man. Like, this is awesome. All right. I'll stop you. Yeah, no, it's no. okay. Yeah. One of the great things about this is that um, there's a lot of giveaways. Um, some of the things that people can win uh, by participating in this contest are uh, a deck of Wildstar playing cards. These are probably one of the most rarest items that you will ever get. And if you uh, follow Niliana on Twitter, she's actually uh, posted pictures of them. Um, you can also get an Exile mouse pad, which is right here. Mm. Morgan, why don't you hold that up in front uh, of your camera so that we can... Uh, exile. Yeah. Oh, what? What? Uh, put her, put her, put her, uh, uh, look, that's, there, the, there, that's there, the best somewhere? one we've got. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's it's awesome. It's just exile. Yeah. 
That's all. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I have longer arms. Right. Thank you. Oh, oh never yeah, mind. There we go. Okay. So you get, now confusing you can get the our. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Woo. Woo. It's like go. a dream sequence, right? Like uh, everything's fading in. It's all fading, fading out. in. Yeah. Okay. No, that's a horror. Uh, somebody, I hope somebody got that shot. Yeah. Um, behind us, uh, we can you can win the orange shirt, which is behind us. I'm also wearing it. See right there. Yeah. Oop, I lost my mic. Sorry about that. Oh, She's wearing the shirt, yeah, yeah. and the shirt is there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. So you can wear, you can win the orange shirt. You can also um, get two Wildstar logo t-shirts, which are on the back. Uh, those are our normal t-shirts that we usually do giveaways on. That's one of my right favorites. Right there by Mor Morgan's by his yeah. ear, right there. Yeah. And yeah. then if he moves his head a little bit, there's you can also um, win a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> Some Rousdower plushies. Yeah, right, right here. There. Right here. Oh, Ooh. let me have that. You want that one? Yeah. Okay. Mm. You each get one. one. That's mm. great. Maggie's going to have fun with that one. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't want... You're definitely not going to win these plushies because they've been soiled by Pappy. Don't you ever leave me, <laughs> Rousdower. We also have... These little keychains right here. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Those are rats that are keychains. <laughs> Morgan's having a kitty right. moment. Right. That's a good. Right, that's enough. <laughs> but that's, a, that's just one of the things. Not many things that you can do with again. It. Another pre-soiled. Uh, pre you will not be winning chain. this keychain. <laughs> right. Lanyards. Yeah. Pins. Swag. Look at this. Look at all this. All of it. There's Pen. Some, you get this. You get all the free stuff that comes with it. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Right. You might get yourself a snarfling if you luck you out. You might get that yeah. and a uh, and a pen. And a pen. And a special carbine See? pen. This is so. Yeah. Here's awesome. the lanyard. <laughs> anyway. And the thing. I think yeah. The message is. Lots You're gonna of win a lot of a lot of stuff. And it's cool. Right? Yep. All right. These prizes uh, will be split up randomly between the winners and the, all of the runners up. And um, more details are found on the forums uh, on the Venus Rising housing, Winterfest housing contest um, thread. Uh, and you can find that information. We will link that um, you know, in the video. We'll also link it eventually in, on YouTube. You'll have the links to all of that. Um, again, guess what? Um, what? Some stuff. Okay. I really want to thank Niliana again for helping us do this. Um, I want her to toss out any last minute plugs and thank yous, but I'll go ahead and help her out with that. <laughs> so Carrot, uh, Moose, uh, Dos Moose Gamer helped her. Uh, there's a bunch of other community members who were uh, really like pinnacle in helping build this contest and making it uh, worthy of a community contest. Um, I want to give you a giveaway reminder. What is the uh, the word? Do you remember? Oh, oh. cheater. Oh. Rexitron. Rexitron. Oh. Okay, so for those of you who want to win an opportunity, well, <laughs> you won't win the opportunity, you'll actually win <laughs> the item, either an Orbitron mount or a Rexling pet. Mm. Go ahead and type into chat Rexitron. That's R-E-X-I-T-R-O-N. Extra sure? Watch, you're gonna steal that from well me, done. huh? Yeah, if I, I see this in the game somewhere, I'm gonna that's feel the, really good. That's the that's the name of the next raid boss, Rexitron. 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 Yeah. It's the Rexling pet inside right. the Orbitron, yep. and he just like he's a hamster in a ball. He's yep. like, Bleh. I like it. Clink, I have, I have clink. Of the other areas if you want to look oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Can we do that? Yeah, let's show okay. some screenshots of uh, of some fun stuff. Oh, check it out. So Ooh. these are some of the other uh, housing plots that are associated mm. with the contest, right? Yep. Oh, we have Niliana at least back here in the game. She's definitely she, in game there. She, she came to, hunt, yeah, to hang I'm out, right? Okay. Yeah. Oh, she's dancing for us here in front of uh, Sandy Claus. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, there we go here. Hold on a second. Let me, uh, let me uh, make sure. At least we can say hi to her. <laughs> Let's uh, let's have there a dance go. party. You know what I'm saying? Woo -woo. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I got I kind of a little step dance thing going. Wow. Oh, we were both doing the same thing. That was actually, like though. you were in sync. That was oh, crazy. Oh, she says she's been here the whole time. Okay. Oh. Excellent. All right. Well, we know you can probably hear us, and we really, really thank you. And we're sorry that um, Skype completely broke down and um, ruined our communication with you. Uh, but we do thank you so much for doing all of this stuff. Uh, we are directing people to the thread and. Um, 
And that's that. So we love you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you very much, Deliana. <laughs> yes. Thank uh, you. And, and all of you uh, kooky, crazy, uh, dedicated community fans, uh, doing events like this and being involved uh, is just does wonders for the game. It makes everybody feel a bigger part of uh, Wildstar and its world. Keep it up. Uh, we love to see these kind of things. Mm -hmm. that's excellent. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's see some more stuff. Yeah, let's get to see yeah. some more of those. Yeah. Ooh, oh, check that that's out. That's cool. Oh, wow. See, the only problem with all of this is I can't live there, <laughs> like in real life. Well, maybe if you do a little more housing in Wildstar, there you, you can go. make well, your own. Well, no, I, I want to make housing in, in real life. I want to make this happen for Dude, me. Look at that. That's like a whole Ooh, town. That's, cool. that's pretty sweet. Nice. Really, really sweet. Oh, there's some taurine stuff. I'm a big fan of the taurine Ooh, yeah, you are. by the way. They're kind of mean to me every time I go near well, them. Though. They're very sassy. They don't. You gotta get They're to the bottom of, sassy. of why. And maybe try right. Well, I don't around. want to yeah, exactly. because they kill me I'll every time I'm around. Out. That's rad. Yep. Yeah. Rad. rad. That's a, that's rad is rad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's I like, brought it yeah, back. I know. <laughs> 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 Hashtag <bitchin'>, rad. <laughs> that's what is it? Yeah. Tubular. <laughs> um, cool. That's cute. Yeah, man. Little chew a guard. Oh, right look at there. that. Oh, yeah, wow. It's taking it to the next level right oh. there. That's biodome right there. That's that's some orange stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I wonder what those orange are growing inside in there. Well, mm. you know, they've got some hydroponics going uh -huh. on. Uh huh, hydroponic, okay. yeah. Oh, there we go. There's some lore for you. That's a scion Ooh, there yeah. on the right for anyone that knows about mm -hmm. the Lumini. You know, I like it. Man, th this stuff is just unbelievably creative. Like, that's what I love about things. our housing system is like yeah. you can literally do anything. Anything. Right? anything. Do anything. Look at that. This is the last one. All right, cool. Desert. Like, looks like the Alamo. Sweet. Yep. All right, well, obviously cool. it hey. goes without saying. We are super excited to see how this whole event goes off. Uh, again, Niliana, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You are not only a great individual, but a good dancer. <laughs> uh, so, well done. Kudos to your dancing. Right? <laughs> okay. uh, moving along, yeah. we are going to show some items off for the, you know, we mentioned the Patacular Spectacular, and try saying that 17 right. times super fast. It doesn't really work. Um, so we want to like show you some of the things that you can get. So Morgan, I'm going to kick it over to you and kick you it to me. just kick post it one away. Time. Hey, so uh, yeah, spectacular, spectacular. Yes. Is that, yeah? Now say That's it good. 16 more nope. times super fast. No. Okay, fine. Don't Maybe later. Chicken. All <laughs> right. So uh, I don't know. After watching all of that housing goodness, it's kind of shameful. But I put to not those ho my housing thing. No, this is we, we should probably shameful. not. You know, we should just cut the show now because this is yeah, going to be really sad. Let's go out on top. This is Morgan's house. Dude, yep. that's a nice uh, hoverboard you got there, by the hey, way. Hey, thanks. You, did you get that in during the Z pre invitational? Why, I did indeed. Wow, man, I've got one of those myself. Yeah, that as well as this outfit. And the, the outfit Ooh, look looks at that. super. Nice. Uh, I don't have the beard anymore. I will have to yeah. go spend some service tokens updating my oh, character. My, all right. Well, yeah. That was a nice Movember nice. thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, here we are at the Chase base. For the Space Chase. Space Chase, of course, being the event coming up next week. Yeah, why don't you tell us a little bit about it, Morgan? We will. Uh, well, I will get to that in just a second. Right, I think sorry. the people want to see what all the, the hubbub is about with these new mounts, such yep. as this guy. There Ooh. is Whoa, the Orbitron. What was it? It was wait. this guy. Yes, this is the Freelancer Orbitron. Ooh, check that out. It's pretty sweet looking. Dude, that is sweet. I like the Orbitrons in general, so I'm always happy to get a new one. I like the steampunk one. Yeah. You know what I'm yep. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like this one. It's very, Dude, you know, post-apocalyptic. Awesome. Like, let's mm -hmm. protect ourselves. <laughs> yeah. I want to see a Chua in one of these, let yes. me tell you. Well, and you know what? <laughs> What's cool about these mounts right here, though, is uh, now you can actually get an account-bound uh, Orbitron, not just a character-bound. So you That's can choose right. one way or the other. Yep. Uh, this is the first time we're doing that. Uh, a lot of that is based on player feedback. They were saying they were wanting that, so yep. th these are the kind of things that players are going to get to see. Yep. Uh, I am personally going to be spending some of my hard-earned end coin yep. uh, on that particular. I already round. threw my wallet out a, like a long time oh, ago. You did? I'm just like, yeah. In All fact, right. I'm just like, d don't even pay me to work here. Yeah. No. <laughs> just, just take take pay, my money. Pay me an end coin. Yeah, pay me an I end like coin. that actually. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Oh no no. <laughs> 
Hi, this is HR. <laughs> um, yeah, we heard that you wanted Endpoint. Oh, right. man. So, yeah, it's, pr it's pretty rad. Yeah, that's pretty rad. And awesome. gnarly. Yep. So, what else can we, can oh, we uh, see on that? Oh, oops, sorry. Ooh, I'm just look showing at that. Off at this point. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, we'll start with the Fawn Grazer. I think it's pretty good, uh, strong starting oh, point. Oh, that's my God. so cute. That thing is ridiculously cute. That's so adorable. It's, uh, I just yeah, died. A little run. I'm not even alive right now. This is a this ghost. Stuff. I'm a figment of your imagination. Look at, Look at this. Look at that thing. Unbelievable. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just I, literally every time I think our artists have outdone themselves with these pets for cuteness, they come up with something just that's the, even cuter. The audacity to make something so cute. Right. <laughs> Who do you think you are? It's shameful. <laughs> it's very shameful. I love how it bounds. The little dash. Too, yeah. Right? When it gets like, going, it has. Yeah. It's not like just little tiny scurrying legs. Like it, <laughs> right. It, it bounds like you would expect it to. Yeah. But, exactly. Uh, that's pretty good that's stuff. That's cute. Yeah. By the way, since I'm looking at the ground a lot, this is actually the asteroid ground that you can get in for housing. Oh, oh cool. nice. Yeah. It's available in the shop. Yeah. As you can see it's got some. Uh, it's got the rocky terrain with the craters and I like it. But nice sci-fi hit. Growth. There you but go. you've got your bounding uh, fawn grazer. Yeah. Yep. I mean, does it get any more bonkers yeah. than this? <laughs> <Right>. As a <laughs> matter of fact, maybe it does. Because right. what is this? Don't don't don't. It's little hoof. Oh. Ooh. Okay, I can't stand it's, it. it. This is just too cute. It's a baby wrong. Get rid of all that. Yeah. Look at him. I just don't just push. Dang dang. I just want to dang. kiss it. What's crazy about these is like you can kind of see it in these, you know, when you're doing the animations, but when we actually get to see these uh, while they're in progress, so I get like full, uh, you know, full on like animation renders of these, and like our <laughs> animators just go to the ultimate detail with these tongues come out. Mouths are opening, they're it blinking. Poops. It is like I'm just kidding. Know, it doesn't. They, they, they might. just go the extra Ooh. mile. Because these things are so cute. There's also the, what they do when they're left idle for a while, which I'm not going to do for each one of them because it's time yeah. consuming. But you just never know what's going to happen. Like you're sitting there doing your crafting, and all of a sudden, it does something it does crazy, a, something a funny spontaneous. Thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. How do you even approve these? Like when you see it, it's just like. It's in front of you, you're just like, you're yeah, just like you just die yeah. before you're you like done. You never even have approved, to worry. You know? There's there's, yeah. there's no non-approving of things that are. It's just the does. cutest just thing. It's all head. It's like a, he's all a head. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a running little head. Yeah, he's uh, super cute. Again, too, this fawn grazer. Uh, there are also account bound versions of these as well. So you can either buy one, for one character, or you can get for uh, right for all of the characters right. on your account. Just to Link. revisit this guy, because, jeez. That is so cute. Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. A little, uh, little grazing, little little grazing on the asteroid. Yeah. Nom, 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 <laughs> As you do. Oh man. All right. So we've we've been talking a lot about this oh, guy. Oh, okay. So for those of you, this gives me a little. So put Rexatron in chat because you could have an opportunity to win this guy. Ooh. And this guy is probably by far my favorite. Is it? Yeah, but I like things that are ugly. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I do. Dude, come on. He's not ugly. He's no. just No, he's cute. He's like ugly, <laughs> but he's like cute. I'm just like, he's so ugly cute. He is, uh, <laughs> he is definitely a Nexus native. You look at that bad boy, you know? And you know he's thinking. Look at those eyes. Yeah. He's like totally thinking. He's thinking, I'm hungry. He's plotting. Uh, if <laughs> I could, I would, <laughs> if, I, <laughs> if I could, I would eat my master. Uh, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Much like a cat, this is a barely restrained killer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I love Look that at animation. Runs. Yeah, they're so good. They're just so good. <laughs> just a little. Yeah. 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 All right, clever sweet. girl. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and I think this is actually my favorite one of this bunch. I'm not sure exactly why, but oh. there's something oh, look really kind of adorable sinister and it. adorable at the same time. Yep. Right? It's that certain mix. Like I want you to be guy. evil because yeah, you, it's too cute. You want to dig into some lore on this bad boy? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh Techno shoot! Phase, yes. You know, like. You know, the entity doing his crazy stuff. Now he's corrupted your little pet, but mm -hmm. it's cool because it's your pet, you know? Like, sure, it could bring an end to the entire universe, but, I mean, you wouldn't care. But no, it's, so it's your cute, pet. You know, like, look at that And thing. he's cute, especially if he just stays like this forever, which he's more likely to do. He literally looks like he's just trying to figure out whether or not he should pop your head off your shoulders. You know, he's just yeah. like, um, maybe, okay, yeah, okay, I'm going to do it. No, <laughs> right for me to blow your mind though. What if at first he hates you, but because he's corrupted, now he loves you? 
he, he's going it. a little mind crazy right blown. now. Yeah. He, yeah. he was his mind was blown <laughs> on that one. He was just like, <laughs> just what? Like, what? Yeah. what do I do? Pretty sweet though. No, yeah, I like him a lot. I like his little his uh, little fidgety moves. Well, it's cool too because uh, we don't have a lot of floating pets. Mm -hmm. right? No. So uh, is this yep. our first one? Uh, we have a couple probes. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, uh, he's nothing also with this kind of personality. Nothing no. with the yeah. personality. This chassis, you know, like the, oh, yeah, the, the leg yeah. layout and yeah. everything is pretty unique. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, I fan. have to admit I like that, I, that claws, may not be my favorite. Cute. Yeah. That, I, and that face. It's really yeah. cute. Yeah. yeah. Sinister and evil. Yeah. I love it. And cute. And sinister and, and evil and, my and end even coin cute. is going to be at zero. By my the time end coin's I already at zero. Yeah. I'm just going to go buy more. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, like, damn it. Yeah. Yep. yep. That's a Winterfest guy. Oh. Ooh. Wait, what? Oh. Are we supposed to be showing that already? I don't know. Winterfest. It's, it's there, the put that up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is there a delay on this stream? Right. <laughs> uh, so, right. How so do that, these things happen? <laughs> so that is the Orbitron and yep, all of our yep. pets that you can get from the Petacular Spectacular and the potential to, or wow, the option boy. to either um, buy the uh, multi-use account bound or just character bound. Yep. So mm -hmm. you do have that option now. Uh, take advantage of it while you can. Yep. And um, since we've uh, covered that, uh, do we go into the space chase, or should we're we gonna, let that percolate Well, we're going to go to notable personalities yeah. first, Ooh. but before we go to notable personalities, this notable personality, Rexatron, needs yeah. to be typed in chat if you want to have an opportunity to win the Orbitron or the Rexling, yeah. which is, the Rexling is right in there somewhere. That's the Rexling. There, yeah. Oh, well, we're, the screen's on us right now, so there's a Rexling. Trust me. <laughs> it's there. It's right. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. The sky. Rexling. Yep. Or the Orbitron awesome post apocalyptic hamster ball mount that protects you from all the things or protects all the things from you. So, going on. Notable personalities. Oh, man. This is good. Oof. Okay, so last week we had uh, Phaedra. And we also had, um, who was it, Phaedra and... Uh, uh, you, do you really need me to tell you? I'm really bad. Avra Darkos. <laughs> yes, Darkos. Okay. And From the Black Hoods. <laughs> but here's the thing. Exit. I always want to say Dracos, and it's not. No, it's, it's not, not her. It's, not it's me. No, it's not a Dracos. It's definitely I know, it's, you. It's, it's, it's not her. Okay. So last week we had <laughs> Dark, Darkos <laughs> and Phaedra. Yeah. And this week we have... My t well, my two favorite characters, but probably two of the most prominent characters for each faction. They're pretty prominent. Uh, we have for the exiles, we've got uh, Mon or sorry, Dead Eye Brightland. <laughs> I almost messed that up. You almost did. Now <laughs> and, it's gonna be like uh, for the Dominion uh, on the left hand side of your screen, we have Mondo Zax, who is uh, the Chua Director of Dread. Yes. Or otherwise known as the Dominion Research and Experimentation Division. So, uh, Mondo is obviously uh, psychotic, right? Only slightly. Well, he creates mm. all of the Dominion's fun, uh, destructive toys, weapons, spaceships, all of these things that basically make the Dominion what they are today. Yeah. Um, we go into a little bit of his... Uh, history on this page uh, where we talk about you know sort of his upbringing he uh, ultimately was responsible for the deaths of all of his siblings it was kind of a competitive family if you think about things <laughs> uh, mom and dad may have fell victim as well to to unfortunate his evil accidents. machinations <laughs> right uh, <laughs> but eventually uh, he ran uh, into some people in the Dominion military and they were like, hey, this guy's got some potential, so we are going to uh, bring him in, give him his own group, and next thing you know, he's creating things like the Planet Reapers that they sent to destroy the Orin homeworld, and you know, I mean, he's brilliant, he's super funny, and he's also psychotic, you know, so. Uh, you know. And there's also like almost an, a real life kind of puppet of him in real life. There, one of our community members made a puppet of Mondo 
Oh yeah. Yeah, he uh, he tries to attend most of our functions. Um, so, and it's really creepy to have Mondo's axe there, and... <laughs> I've had conversations with and Mondo. And I've had like drinks that. with Mondo, <laughs> and <laughs> let me tell you, that was super awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and, so, um, yeah. the antithesis of Mondo's axe would be... So, uh, yeah, on the other side, uh, this, uh, in this week's Noble Personalities, we are doing Deadeye Brightland, who is... Uh, an infamous gunslinger uh, on the exile side. Uh, from a historical standpoint, he is the descendant of uh, Sarek Brightland, who is actually one of the most important heroes in all of exile history, right? Mm -hmm. He is the guy who led the rebellion against the dominion that led to the split between the Cassian humans and the exile humans. Uh, you know, he's basically like the George Washington of the Exiles. Uh, Deadeye Brightland, I would say, doesn't exactly live up to that same standard. He, uh, you know, had a tough upbringing. By the time uh, Deadeye was born, the Brightland family had sort of fallen, uh, fallen from grace a little bit. And uh, he had, you know, as I said, kind of a rough upbringing. He ended up becoming a bounty hunter. Lost his eye in uh, in a fight with a famous marauder captain known as Captain Thokov, yeah. who you actually run into if you're mm -hmm. playing the game uh, in Algarok. You know, he... Spoiler, his his uh, wife gets killed oh, pretty yeah. early on in the game. Pretty uh, devastating. As a, re a result of a Dominion attack. So, you know, he was kind of hoping to turn his life around when he got to Nexus. It didn't quite uh, turn out to happen that way. And so now he's sort of on a tear. He's taking care of business. He is one of the most feared individuals in all of the Exiles because uh, he is so good with a gun. But, you know, like, without giving any spoilers, uh, we may have some content coming up where... Deadeye maybe gets to show that uh, he's got a little bit of the hero in him. Yay. So, you know what I mean? I, you know, that, uh, I, I'm not giving any spoilers, but it will be in some upcoming content. I think people are going to like it. That's excellent. And in, also, in other upcoming content, not Gin Game content, but lore content news, uh, we just finished off our Lormageddon. Um, oh, this yeah. was the second annual one, or mm, whatever, uh, whatever a, we'll call it. I think it's our, yeah. The, <laughs> it's like, not the second annual, yeah, but you know. Right. Uh, yeah, it was great. We, uh, you know, we sent out the the call to the rabid lore hounds of Wildstar and said, "Hey, you know, we have this initiative, Lore Again, where people uh, send us questions about lore that aren't necessarily answered in the game, and this is our opportunity to interact with the community and answer those questions. And then we put all of those up on a specific page that's for Lore Again." And so, um, you know, the outpouring from the community was great. I think the the uh, the thread was up to five or six pages long of people answering tons of questions, yeah. right? We were kind of hoping it might be one question per person. It ended up, in many cases, being like 20 or 30 questions per person, which, you know, we love and is great. Uh, so we are now in the midst of looking uh, at all of those, parsing through them, trying to figure out which ones we're going to answer. And uh, and then as soon as we've got them answered, we will post them up to the Lorem again page. So excellent, excellent. Great. And we really, 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 really cool. thank you guys for participating in that yeah. to, you know, give us kind of a stepping stone as to where to continue to move these stories mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So that's awesome. Um, continuing on, it's kind of lore-ish in a way, but, you know. Um, lore-ish. Sor sor sort, of, sort of, sort of not, sort of. Um, Space Chase. Space Chase. Space Chase is awesome. Um, Space Chase is one of our upcoming in-game events. Um, that's it's not an us event. It's it's just an event that we we turn on. Mm. And the focus of Space Chase is space. Ooh, because it's the place. Not where the you final chase frontier. Space is the place for Space Chase. Yeah, yeah. Yay! No, uh, so Space Chase, right? Uh, it is an emphasis on space. Obviously, but also, uh, um, you know, ship hands, expeditions, expeditions. expeditions. Yeah. things like that. Things so, that happen in space. That's right. right. So uh, just to get involved with the event, all you really have to do is queue for expeditions. There will be. Finish expeditions. Yeah. Right. And there will be vendors in either, in both capital cities mm -hmm. that you can redeem 
fab, uh, currencies that you can find mm -hmm. on your expeditions for fabulous prizes. Now, this is are there is there a specific expedition or a few expeditions uh, specifically for Space Chase that uh, mm. they can run, or you can run any expedition all and them, then yeah. all of the expeditions. Yes. Yeah, and the what is the focus one is of all of them? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And what is the goal? What are we trying to get? All right, glad you asked. So Ooh, here we let's go. Blow up this inventory here. Whoa. I got a little bit of everything. People heads. Hold on. That's great. So, not used to this map. All right, man. Look at all this stuff that you can get from Space Chase. I mean, I have big stacks of it, but this is quite a variety. I believe we're at about seventy-eight housing items mm -hmm. that you can get. From oh this wow! Wow. Uh, let me take a look at my crate and confirm that. Oh, I have a hundred and nine, and this is all the stuff you can get from Space Chase. Crazy. Yeah, I'm not going to take some time going through each and every one thing, but when you finish. Uh, an expedition during Space Chase, you get eco particles. Collect these, you can give them to a uh, currency exchanger in your city to get uh, these are called eco chits, which is, you know, just a coinage that you can in turn spend on goods through a vendor sitting basically beside the exchanger. Or you can sell things on the auction house if you're not so interested in these things, sell them to people who are and just keep piling up your plat. But some of the things that you can get with that, uh, you know, you can get uh, these boxes that just have kind of an assort a random assortment of things, uh, which include like, uh, uh, let's see, like we have gunner ships that have a certain set of housing decor that fit a certain kind of ship. We have, uh, I know I'm being kind of vague, but I'm going to take you through the shipyard in a second here. Trust me. <laughs> the tech, a tech shuttle decor case, which has a more of a research craft kind of feel to it. And then, of course, a, a racer ship because races also happen in space. Whoop, whoop. Yes. And, you know, you'll get, it'll look like a ship that you can build for speed instead of battle. Uh, before I go through the junkyard, though, I'll just show you this. This is more of a shipyard than a junkyard. You can also get these individual ships. Now, I've scaled them to about half of their potential scalability uh, in most cases because they can get pretty huge. I just wanted you to see the detail of each item that's available. This is an exile ship. What do we call it exactly here? Let me take a look. Oh, yeah. A slim exile fighter because it is all of those things. Because it's slim and it fights. That's and right. It's exile. And it's exile. It's pretty yes. sharp though. Yeah, I do agree with you. There's some sharpness associated with yes. that. Yeah, yes. you definitely want to watch when you're putting that yeah. in your pocket. That's yeah. right. For sure. Also, we got this Marauder ship. Let's see if I can give you a good angle here to By take a look. By far my most favorite. Just saying. Yeah. Wow, you're really getting the undercarriage there, aren't you? <laughs> That's right. I'm just yeah. trying to give the people what they want. I just wanted yeah. to. Call just out. yeah, <laughs> because you couldn't hold that one back, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> there was an exhaust port back there. I mean, <laughs> that's like, why I love doing you know shows with you. You're oh, look at that. Oh, See, yeah. this is what's down, awesome so. about housing: pick it, scale it, go check it out, uh, and then cancel your scale. Just stop. Maybe you change your right mind. There. Yeah. See, that's cool. It's a very unhappy ship. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say he's unhappy. He's more like. Arr. He might, he's like, yeah, maybe he's uh, aggro. Yeah, yeah, he's a little aggro. Still came to party though. I like this this section yep. here. Yeah, a lot of taggers like these kinds of ships. Look at that. Th this thing's been tagged a couple of yep. times. Uh, need I say that it's awesome looking though? I mean, it's right? my favorite. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's my favorite, and I love street art. And just what's saying. great about this is that all you really have to do to get this is wait. This yes. this is from the one of the bundles. Is that true? Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, and the bundles you get on the store, or you can actually get those through the vendor as well. Both. Both. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I mean, so if you're the kind of person that wants to get it uh, just through gameplay, all you really have to do to get something like this is just play the game and have fun. That's play right. The game. Right. I mean. Let's, so let's be honest, that's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Yep. Go to the capital city, um, load up an expedition, uh, go ahead and play through it, and you will get some eco, eco particles, mm -hmm. which yeah. can go ahead and you can put those together for um, eco chits. Eco chits. That's right. yeah. uh, eco chits are then used to buy all the things. Buy all of the yeah. cases. That's right. That's all of that is exactly correct. Yep. Right. See? And then like that. what you Just get like out of the cases can be sold on the auction house. Right. So if you're missing pieces and whatnot and et cetera, you go ahead and you just go to the auction house or make trades with your friends, et cetera. And, you know, it's like a trading card game for ships. Can you get this Protostar spaceship too? You Morgan? can, as a matter oh, of fact. look at that thing. It's oh, pretty man. big, so yeah. I might have to just dump another one yeah. in here so we can take a better look. 
All right. All right, let's see here. Oh, there we go. So a little scale, oh, oh. there we go. Yeah, let's bring it down some. Let's bring it yeah. in. Look at that. It's very proto starry, yeah. you know? <laughs> It really Whammo! is. Whammo! There it is. <laughs> there is no mistake right. in whose ship this yeah. is. Uh, For money. Yeah. Wow, what else can we get in these, oh, uh, in these packs, Morgan? Glad you it asked. It feels like there's a lot more cool yeah. stuff. So remember I said all of, uh, all of these parts here? Yeah. Well, look at all those. Look at all those parts. And then look at them in the game. This is uh, pretty much all those parts scaled to about... I would say half to a quarter, depending on the wow. part. Yeah. Uh, just to give you an idea of the detail again, but also because there's so many of them, I didn't want to uh, oh make my this gosh. indecipherable. Now, if I was a betting man, which sometimes I am, are, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would say that you could take all of these awesome pieces here and then put them together mm. and make your own spaceship. That is correct. I mean, is that actually how it works? Because, man, if that's how it works, I'm going to be running a <laughs> lot of expeditions when this thing goes. Well, how it works is you can build whatever you want, which is the beauty, obviously, mm -hmm. right, of housing. Yeah. But, yes, they once you get a complete set, it will look like a complete ship. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, you know. I mean, once you put it together, though. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But or of course, you can make your own, right? Th that's, that's really it. Like, yeah. uh, you know, you can do the factory thing or you can... Uh, yeah. Do something for well, the next life. time we come to your plot, Morgan, I'm expecting to see <laughs> these uh, uh, put together, right? In all like, different into, shapes uh, and I mean, ships, it's, shapes, It's good sizes. that we've laid them out here, but the next time I'm going to see the Morgan, SS Morgan. Yes. The SS Morgan. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. I, okay. I think, that's, I think that's fair. <laughs> I can totally do that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. What are some cool. other things that we can get from, right. from those packs? Because uh, there's this other... Is kinda my, yeah. This is kind of my favorite part, actually. I mean, the... All that stuff is really awesome. It's kind of daunting to me because I'm not nearly as skilled at housing uh, as the people who do it. I don't know. You look like you did a really good job. Yeah, you know, I'm really good at putting things on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> and leaving Ste it. Baby steps, all right? Baby look steps. Yeah. Look at that. Like, wow, how, how it's on the ground. I was going to say how you yeah. rotated it. Yeah, you know what? and I, like sunk it. I didn't even rotate yeah. that. That yeah. came out that way. Oh, it did. Yeah, all I did was make it a little bigger. Yeah. So, right. you know, maybe you're not supposed to say that. You're supposed to be like you're supposed to say thank you. Like, oh, yeah, I tried really hard. You're right. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah. Dude, I, I want to see what you got. Wait, that's your regular house there though. Right? It's my regular house, yeah. but I just wanted to point out the upgrades cuz a lot of people aren't really aware that the regular house can get a lot cooler looking. Like yeah. it starts pretty cool, but you right. can upgrade the nose, you can get this these stairs instead of a ramp. Like I got new wings and nice. uh, it, yeah, it's it's. It, I was now I that's was a special pleased. house though, pre-order house, right? Yeah. Rocket ship. Man. That is a pre-order house. I've got one of those. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. There are a lot of them out there yeah. though, so you should definitely check that out yeah. if you haven't already. But okay. these guys, cadets, space cadets. Yay! Look at them. One up. for each race and oh gender. Oh my god! How cute are these they? These are like having your own miniatures. I would like. I'd build a whole battle scene with these guys. Uh, yeah. Man. Like yes. I'd name each one of these guys like. Here's a uh, Buck Wildstar right there. Buck right, Wildstar. Wild Look at him, I'm saying. I like Buck Wildstar. What's Wild that one? Who's that uh, one? I don't know. I Ingrid. <laughs> In I Ingrid like Wildstar. Wild Star. Ingrid right. Nexus Pants. Nexus oh, Pants. okay. Yeah. Ingrid Nexus Pants. I like yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. And uh, also, to be clear, these have been scaled up to their maximum uh, limits. Just yep. again, so you can see what they look like as much as possible in the stream. How, yeah. how small can you make them? Oh my goodness. I want to see how, like, tiny humans. Dude, I'm going to totally make, like, a like a little mini, like, board game with yes. these. Yes. You know exactly, I mean? like, like a little chess set. Like the star, like the, uh, uh, well, I won't oh. say the So they can just be yeah. smaller oh, okay. just than a little usual? Bit, yeah. a, little, a little smaller. This looks about 75% of the average. It's like a mini buck, and yeah. then that's regular buck. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Buck Jr. Yeah. He gets powered up. Buck Wildstar the third. All right, let's see. What about these yeah, other dudes? So these are exile humans, right. right? Ooh, look at that. Ooh, some Mordash. 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 Mordash lady. She's uh. Those are some pretty sweet claws. She's Her a name stalker. is Zombitron. Yeah. Zombitron. Like Zombitron mm -hmm. 4000. Mm -hmm. All right, that's cool. Yeah, I like that. Some good details there in this guy. Oh, yeah. What's his name? He, his, he's uh. Medic McMeddy Pants. <laughs> Medic McMeddy That's a lore approved name. Is that MC or MAC? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. Look at that. Look oh, at the detail on those here. resonators. <laughs> yeah, let's. Uh, yeah, okay. it's, uh, yeah. Let me, I'll jump. You can get a top view here. There you go. There all you right. go. There. <laughs> that was it. That's <laughs> all. Got some granite. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Ooh, Look at that. Roxanne. Pretty sweet guns. Pretty sweet. Sorry. Yeah. I named yeah. my granite female Roxanne. 
I like yeah. that. That's good. Yeah, I'm not sure that's lore proof, but I did it. Look anyway. at this dude. Yeah. He's got he a big is sword, awesome. and he's ready to rock. It's almost Get like it? A, it almost looks like a laser. Uh, what do you call it? Like a chainsaw. You know, oh yeah. You feel that a little bit thick Laser saw. Yeah. It's like an atomic oh, yeah. particle at the bottom of it. It's cool. I think really what we're getting from this whole thing is that there are awesome things, uh, many, many awesome things in these bundles, and uh, you need to go out and run some expeditions when this starts. Yep. Hey, Draken, by the way. And you have all yeah. the opportunities of uh, hey, getting yeah. these things uh, when Space Chase um, comes online uh, next week, right? Yep. The ninth. It does. Yeah. Yep. The ninth. Yep. Wait, there is another... Okay, so... I know there are some huge fans of Jeff Kurtnacker out there, right? Oh, oh yeah. So, oh, yeah. One of, in my opinion, yep. one of the coolest things about uh, the bundles mm -hmm. uh, is one of the bundles actually contains a completely unique song that was written specifically uh, for this purpose by Jeff Kurtnacker. It is called the Legend of the Blue Legend Horizon. Legend of the Blue Legend. Horizon. Mm -hmm. It is a story written, uh, inspired by the story of Dorian Walker and how he discovered Planet Nexus. The song is awesome. If you get the bundle that has mm. that song in there, you get to actually listen to it on your housing plot. That's the trick, too. Yeah. Each one of the ship type bundles comes with a song, and this is matched to one of those ships. Yeah. So there are actually three different pieces of music, and this one, as he said, is made explicitly for this event and yeah. this purpose. It's exclusive. So yeah. Let's it's give you a little sample. Yeah, yeah let's get a sample. To Not too much, but you guys yeah. should, should definitely get to hear it. I can't hear it, so... Yeah, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's actually playing. Hmm. Are we getting anything? Listen with your heart. Yeah. And then you'll hear <laughs> it. <laughs> if, your, if your heart is open, you'll Can hear you it. No, I'm at 50. But I hear it. You I'm hear it? I'm listening to my heart. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're listening to your heart. All right, well. It's, it's, I love it. Ugh. Anything? So right. good. <laughs> anyway, it is Man. awesome. Tears um, just every time. So, uh, I, you know, I don't think I have to tell anyone that Jeff is uh, by far the most talented composer yes. in mm -hmm. the history of composers. Yes, and so. our, our score has gotten quite the kudos. Yep. Um, for its uh, originality and just its inspiration. And I've and heard some of the new music that he did for the oh new my, content yes. that we're going to yep. be talking about that I can't say anything else about, but it is a joke. It's so good. It's just so good. Uh, <laughs> so good, it's a joke. So good, it's a joke. <laughs> well, <laughs> almost too beautiful. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Let's you you can't unhear it once it's been heard. <laughs> that's that's excellent. Yeah. Much like us. Right. <laughs> so spoiler alert. Right? With that, we want to thank you guys so much and gals because hey, guys and gals listen to us or watch us, whatever. Um, and we want to thank you so much for coming, watching us, paying attention, having um, opportunities to um, win, win some stuff. Uh, so go to uh, Venus Rising's uh, Winterfest housing competition, sign up. Uh, the details are on the forums. Uh, that's also on Venus Rising's uh, main site. Um, you can do that and you can have an opportunity to win some fun stuff if you have a cool housing plot. And these things shed. Yeah. Um, Play Space Chase? Play Space Play Chase, it. please. Morgan, when does that start again? That is the 9th. Oh, man. It's that is Wednesday the 9th. Wednesday the 9th. Get in there. Get New expeditions. expeditions. Get some eco particles. Get some spaceships. Yep. That's right. Yeah, that's basically Chits what you need to, to do. Ships. Yes. That's what I wow, said. Wow, that was a <laughs> risky. <laughs> Wasn't it? <laughs> that was a risky proposition. Aren't you proud I took that risk? Yeah, I am. Yeah. See, so yeah, and I didn't mess it up at all. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. He's writing it down. He's like, uh, <laughs> Didi, you need to be in my office in a minute. <laughs> Um, so we want to thank you all for doing that. Um, go ahead and uh, check out our articles, Spectacular, Spectacular. Also, our ship, uh, ship uh, 
sorry, Space Chase article, which is Space up right Chase now. Space Chase article. I almost said ship hands, uh, where you're going to need to run some expeditions and have fun. Run expeditions anyway and have fun. Right. Because, yep. you know, even outside of all of this stuff, they're super fun and most awesome. You and can run them by yourself and with a group of people. That's the yeah. whole entire point. Right. FYI. Yeah. <laughs> FYI. Uh, go read some notable personalities. Yes, yes. Get please. ready for some lore again. It's yes. coming. Yes, okay. yes. It's gonna double be good. yes. Yep. Um, more information on that coming in the future. Yep. Uh, but this week we have Mondo Zax, we have Dead Eye Brightland, and next week or the week after or sometime soon we'll have some more. We'll have some other ones. Yeah. Even more I don't, well, I don't want to commit you if you're yeah. like... Um, no, we uh, are. I'm just... It's a surprise. Ixnay on the x And you're now. going to love it. x -lay. <laughs> That's excellent. Um, go ahead and follow us on our social channels. Uh, yep. Facebook, Twitter, uh, at Wildstar. Um, on Twitter, and then uh, go ahead and if you want to leave us some information on forums, you have feedback, we always listen to your feedback. Uh, we might not always act on it immediately, but it's always listened to. Uh, me and my team, we compile it ourselves, that's how I know, <laughs> and these guys get to hear it. And uh, speaking specifically about Space Chase, when this does yes. go live, let us know what you think. Because, Absolutely. Uh, if this is something that you guys really enjoy, we'll look at uh, Similar content, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Similar events. Yep, similar events, or even you know this one coming back in a at a future date, uh, whatnot, ever something like that. Who oh, knows? Don't look at me like that. You Who never knows? know. No, I'm not looking at you. Like I'm nothing. not committing to anything. I'm <laughs> just saying easy. you don't know. Right. We uh, we gauge it based on your feedback. So let us know. Um, I want to thank you guys. Thank you so much for coming hey, and yeah, showing pleasure. us yeah. all of the stuff, Always talking about our notable personalities, enemies and allies. That's awesome. That's right. a really great name, so pay attention to that. Yeah. Um, Space Chase, thank you so much. Hey, and then we're going to have Chase both of you welcome. on in the future, of course. Uh, you can follow uh, Morgan and Chad, uh, Papilicious and Downtown. Uh, and on their Brown. Downtown M. Brown. That's oh, right. yeah. Well, or CRB well, I mean, downtown. Um, I just call the you the guy who's best friends with Julie Brown now, so right. it's all good. Totally. Cool. Awesome. Do you guys have anything for the people? <laughs> no, just play Wildstar. I'll, uh, gonna be in there running some exhibitions myself, so. I'm gonna start right you now. on the ninth. Yep. Yes. What? Oh, yeah, the winners. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yes. The winner winners. <laughs> the winning winners. All right, <laughs> I believe. Do we have the winner? Okay, so. <laughs> Remember, for those of you who entered Rexitron, R-E-X-I-T-R-O-N, we're going to go ahead and get it. Phantom Bear is the first one. Phantom Bear? I can't see it. Phantom Bear. Phantom, Phantom Bear. Bear. Congratulations Ooh. on winning. Um, the Orbitron. Orbitron. Right? Orbitron. 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 Freelancer Orbitron. And then Esper Lord is the next winner. Esper Lord. <laughs> Wait, Esper Lore? Or I have Esper to have Lord? my binoculars on. Lord. Es okay, yeah. Esper it Lord. should be Esper Lore. Esper Lord, uh, you and uh, Rexling. 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 Rexling for, for Esper Lore. Yes. Uh, Maggie will be in touch with you and we'll get all of your information in order to go ahead and uh, grant those things on your accounts. Uh, and again, uh, it's Orbitron for the first winner and Rexling for the second winner, just in case you misunderstood what I just said. <laughs> Apt right. to happen. Yay! Okay. Thank you guys. Stay yes. in school. Bye bye. Be cool. <laughs>